Jesus Christ is the Lord of all times and of all things. Monday of the 10th week of Ordinary Time. This talk and meditation is prepared by Father Jeremy Habiarimana. Elijah serves the Lord, God of Israel. Reading the first book of Kings 17, 1 through 6. Elijah, the Tishbite from Tishbe in Galid, said to Ahab, As the Lord, the God of Israel, lives, whom I serve, during these years there shall be no dew or rain except at my word. The Lord then said to Elijah, Leave here, go east and hide in the Wadi Cherith, east of the Jordan. You shall drink of the stream, and I have commanded ravens to feed you there. So he left and did as the Lord had commanded. He went and remained by the Wadi Cherith, east of the Jordan. Ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning, and bread and meat in the evening, and he drank from the stream. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Psalm 120 Our help is from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I lift up my eyes toward the mountains. Whence shall help come to me? My help is from the Lord who made heaven and earth. May he not suffer your foot to slip. May may he slumber not who guards you. Indeed, he neither slumbers nor sleeps, the guardian of Israel. The Lord is your guardian. The Lord is your shade. He is beside you at your right hand. The sun shall not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will guard you from all evil. He will guard your life. The Lord will guard you coming and your going, both now and forever. Alleluia! Matthew 12 Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel Blessed are the poor in the Spirit. Reading the Holy Gospel according to Matthew 5, 1-12 When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, His disciple came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be in great in heaven. Thus they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Gospel of the Lord Dear brothers, today the Lord of life and death, Jesus Christ, follows us sanctifying by his word. At first reading, the Lord insists that all power belongs to the Lord and to no one else, and the prophets show it to us. The prophet Elijah is not afraid to tell the king what his God wants. King Ahab had become another God, for he did not obey the Lord. That is a temptation, a temptation that the powerful suffer more than the others. That's why we have to pray for all the rulers, the authorities, because the Lord of pride, the tempter, convinces them that they have power and that they can use it to their advantage. Prophets must say no, and that's what Elijah did. That's what the Catholic Church teaches, which must be a prophet by proclaiming Jesus Christ as the true Lord and denouncing everything that isn't and pretends to be. The Lord of life and death is the one who rose from the dead, called Jesus Christ, the King of kings, the Lord of lords. No government or ruler of this world has power over Jesus Christ. The church, as a prophet who speaks on his behalf, has to stand firm and proclaim and denounce without fear in the name of Jesus Christ by saying, that is, that is, that is not. When we talk about church, we mean every Christian. Every Christian has to make those, make see those who want to become gods, 
those who believe they have the power to give and take life. That is, that it is not like a, this. We have one God, and that is Jesus Christ. Those who pretend have power over life or death are wrong, and we Christians have to tell it. Blessed are those who really, with how little or much of you have in this world, obey the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is what the gospel that declares to the poor, to the humble, to the pure as blessed. It's a language the world doesn't understand, but it's the truth. Blessed are the poor of spirit. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are those who weep. Blessed are those that are suffering. Blessed are those who are hungry and thirst for justice. Justice. Blessed, blessed are the clean-hearted. Blessed are those who work for peace. Blessed are those persecuted for the sake of justice. Blessed when they insult you, persecute you, slander you by the name of Jesus Christ. This can't to be understood without the light of the Holy Spirit. And Christians who understand it, it's because somehow they live it. No one understands what it is like to be persecuted if it never was. It is something that it is experience and it is the life of Jesus Christ, dead and risen, that manifests itself in his own. And each of them is a prophet, is a witness of the gospel, is a witness of Jesus Christ. It's showing the world the true path of happiness. May the Holy Spirit transform our hearts and sanctify us through the prayer of the Virgin Mary and of all the saints. That by the prayer of Our Lady Mary and of all the saints, the Holy Spirit will make us prophets of the gospel, prophets of the new life, prophets of mercy, prophets of the purity, prophets of peace, prophets of righteousness, prophets of patience and pursuits. May the Holy Spirit make us prophets of humility, poverty in the Spirit that totally transform our hearts and our lives so that through us the Father, the Son may be glorified and the Holy Spirit. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us. Come, Holy Spirit.